who is ready to move on to Crypto Corner? All right, so uh, I've done Mystery Cats before. Uh, I did the Appalachian Black Panther just, uh, what was it, last month. That's one of my favorite topics, though. So uh, you guys are going to have to deal with a, a lot of Mystery Cat sightings. But more uh, surprising or more out of place than a cougar on the wrong side of the... Uh, the U.S. Uh, are these mystery black cats that we see in the U.K. But the problem I have with the mystery cats in the U.K. is that whenever they're caught on footage, or whenever there's footage caught of them, I'm not getting a panther uh, impression. I found this channel called Puma Watch. Uh, it's watching for the, or it's a channel dedicated to the Surrey Puma. Uh, the Surrey Puma uh, exists in uh, folklore <laughs> as a uh, a mystery cat that's, uh, that's native to Wales or in, in the, the areas around Wales. So, uh, without further ado, let's let's dive in and look at some of the uh, some of the sightings here. Let me pull up. Uh, there's a few different videos out here, so we're gonna go full screen. What we're looking at is back. Hold, hold on. There's only it only this one only seems to appear in the very beginning. So watch up in. Uh, can you see my mouse on there? I don't know. No, okay, uh, it's like the upper, upper left. Let me rewind it again. But this one, definitely looks like a house cat to me. You tell me what you think. Uh, we're gonna look at a few of these though. All right. If we watch here, it, you can see it now in the, up in the very, very right corner, top right corner, you see it moving, moving off out of frame. All right, and it doesn't come back in, so I don't know why they, they didn't cut it here, but we're going to watch it one more time. Okay, moving across the upper middle towards the upper left. It is definitely something feline, but I think that what we are looking at here is a house cat. Ooh, uh, uh, meet Matthew. Uh, that's a good question. So, what is a panther? Okay, the term panther is not a scientific term at all. Uh, panthera is. That's where, but it does come from the same root word, which is big cat. Panthera, as a uh, a family. It houses lions, tigers, uh, leopards, and jaguars. Uh, all the the big uh, the big cats, the, the the big the big four there. Uh, again, leopards, jaguars, lions, and tigers. Now, lions, uh, lions, and tigers don't have black molds or black forms but jaguars and leopards do and they have them for very different reasons and i could uh delve into that another time i don't want to misspeak but uh, they're, they're, the genetic uh, uh reason that they that they produce black offspring is different in the in the two in the two different genuses uh or not genuses the two different species because they're in the same genus panthera now cougars or mountain lions are uh, they're actually they're not even in panthera they're they're in uh they're felines uh, and they're the gen genus is puma but they aren't they aren't uh big cats at all they're closely related to your house cat and they're commonly called panthers as well which is a bit of a misnomer i like calling them cougars myself or mountain lions but uh, people call them panthers people call them pumas too which is the the genus name so you can't really can't really argue with that but they don't come in a black form either. Uh, pumas don't. Uh, they can be pretty dark brown. 
uh, and the closest relative, the ocelot, uh, not the ocelot, the uh, jaguarundi, the ocelot is not the closest relative of the puma, it's the jaguarundi, do come in a dark, dark color that's black, and they have a very, their body, they're very much built like a small cougar, so they have that same body shape, uh, and they can get pretty big, uh, I think, uh, I think they approach like 30 pounds, so, uh, sorry to use, uh, my, English units there, but, uh, yeah, the, so, the, we're going to play another one of these while I'm talking here, the, uh, term panther is also used to refer to any time that a jaguar or a leopard is black, that their fur coat is black. This is another one that I believe we are looking at just a large house cat. Uh, the way it walks and moves. The proportion of its head to its body. All indicate to me that we are looking at a house cat. But there is one. This one I actually sent to uh, Badger because Badger... Uh, does wild little like, uh, like trail cam style wa wildlife videos. So Badger is used to seeing all sorts of critters uh, from the UK. There it is moving across the back there. And it moves towards the camera and then turns around and leaps away. All right. Yeah, uh, then it is it's gone from the from the video. But uh let's watch that again. It starts off over here on the left and then uh moves around right uh a couple feet behind that bowl you see sitting there. Right there it is. And I am very much of the opinion that what we are seeing is a rare treat to see in the UK. Um, you don't see them a lot on videos or pictures, but I think we are seeing a pine martin. Um, and they can get pretty pretty good size, and they do live in this region. Um, and they are very, very nocturnal and uh, keep to themselves very much. So I really think that this one is a pine martin. Uh, there was one that brought me here in the first place. Let's see. I think it was this one here. I like this one. This one is... This one makes me go, hmm. Watch the... Okay, beyond this stone wall, in that field back there, uh, we, we call in the U.S. a yard. I guess you'd call it a garden. There it is, moving across the mid center right now it is running from place to place I'm just going to zoom in on it here all right come on there it is and it's moving really low to the ground and it stops there and then it bounds off to the fence line to where it disappears out of view now that is uh what i find interesting is the way that it uh that it's running here but i'm pretty confident looking at it again and again that we are looking at a dog, a canine. Watch here. Yeah, let me make it. Let me make this full screen. All right. So so just think about a dog running in his backyard, running out there, stops and sniffs, bounds off towards the fits line, maybe sees something over there. I don't know. I think that that's somebody's dog. You tell me what you think. 
All right, let's see. There's not, they don't have very many videos. Um, this one's supposedly a Lynx, but it sure doesn't look like a Lynx to me. Maybe uh, it has a long tail, like a cat, a house cat. So I'm pretty sure that's a house cat. <laughs> I don't even know why that would be up on here. There's, there's, it just looks like a video of somebody's cat. Here we have uh, one traveling along a railroad track. Uh, and just keep in mind, this is a channel dedicated to this topic. So this is the best, the, the, the best video evidence that they have that these animals exist. And as we can see, we have cats and we have dogs. Um, and we have my video at a frame. I do not see anything that is not evident that this is a that this is a house cat. Maybe a a big one. Uh, we're looking at railroad tracks there, so those ties are uh, general. Ra generally, railroad ties are about uh, about ten inches um, in diameter which gives me the impression that this animal is especially comes down here right in front of them and so this animal's body length is is maybe uh, 16 to uh, it's hard to say exactly but it's it's not over it wouldn't be over uh, 25 inches or uh, let's see in centimeters uh, it's about 60 centimeters um, so yeah a, a good sized cat good sized house cat But tell me if you think if you think I'm wrong. Your educated guess is aliens, uh, secular rarity. Uh, how can there be aliens if if space isn't real? That's that's my that's my response to that. I think that uh, uh, on the uh, the perspective last week, yeah, you, there, someone made a a case to you that uh, that space just isn't real, and I think that if space isn't real, then and how can you even theorize that it's aliens hey AJ good to see ya I hope you're ready to uh, talk about the geologic columns because that is going to be coming up here in a little bit <laughs> D parks good to see ya yeah I don't see anything compelling about this it looks like a house cat to me all right so but that is uh, Puma watch. I did subscribe to him. See, I'm subscribed. Uh, so I appreciate anybody making the effort to compile these things together so that we can look at them and we can make decisions on, uh, on their validity.